Before we take you on the ground in two towns in Tennessee, we must take you in the air. In the air shows the mountains and wonders that surround the towns with beauty and barriers. In the air shows their slight size and their remote distance. And for those who live here, in the air is too often the fastest way to the nearest hospital, since theirs is closed. One of my friends had a heart attack the other day and they had to fly him out. This happened yesterday. Let me off. On the ground. I always get a catfish. Shelly Utley runs the Copper Grill. You need a copy of your receipt. In Tennessee's Copper Corner. This town, you know, it's an old mining town. It's been forgotten ever since the mine shut down. Utley works in the town of Copper Hill. The hospital was in nearby Ducktown. A half decade back, besieged by debt and a drying population, it became one of 138 rural hospitals in the last 12 years to close. It just makes you feel there's nowhere to go. You'd just be out of luck if you had something really needed an emergency really fast. There are hospitals somewhat close over the border in Georgia, but those with Tennessee insurance can't use them. That means often they're forced to fly. I actually bought insurance in case I have to be flown out. You can buy an insurance policy for that. They sell it right over here at the grocery store. Extreme external pressures have forced hospitals to close in rural and urban areas, but those closures have different effects. A study of California communities that lost hospitals found rural patients experienced a 76% increase in ambulance transportation time. Inpatient mortality rose nearly 9%. Urban communities saw little change. Started at Copper Basin Hospital in 1995. Lisa Cook worked as a nurse at the old hospital. A lot of them don't have vehicles. They don't drive. Some of them never learn to drive. If they don't have gas money to go two miles down the road, then they don't have gas money to go 36 miles down the road. Losing the hospital meant losing the area's largest employer. It means a mountain-sized climb to get local medical care back. Once a hospital closes, the chances of it coming back are small. Brock Slabaugh runs the National Rural Health Association. Once the physicians, the nurse practitioners, the physician assistants leaves, all of your staff leaves, recruiting that back could be next to near impossible. This was the case before a global pandemic that has caused national burnout among workers in healthcare. In a November survey of rural hospitals, 96% of respondents said they have difficulty finding nurses. Nearly 99% said they were short on staff. Thank you. Cook wanted to stay in her hometown. Now she works in another state. But I'm going to be honest with you, big people here depend on neighbors, friends, and family. You didn't just lose a business. You lost that connection with your family. Just sign this one for me. Despite all of this, hard oh, yeah. Shelly Utley, there we go. like many in the Copper Corner, maintains a smile amidst despair. And you just help yourself to the drinks. Thank you. They embrace what they have on the ground and hope they never experience it in the air. Somebody's being flown out all the time. It's not good. Need something better. In Copper Hill, Tennessee, I'm Matt Pearl.